Hey, hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian from Men's Comics. And you know what time it is? We are at the end of the week, which means only one thing. And that is, it's time for Last Call. That's right. We're going to talk about my picks for comic books that are heading final order to off this coming Monday night, March 1st. 2021. A lot of times in this video, we talk about books that are coming out three weeks from now to get those pre-orders in. But I'm going to take a moment and talk about a book that's coming out this coming week. That's right, Wednesday, March the 3rd. And it's a book that's been talked about a lot on this channel. And we are talking about from Boom Studios. We're talking about Berserker number one, Keanu Reeves, Matt Kent. That's right, Keanu Reeves writing a comic book. I'm sure you might have heard of it. I can't say enough good things about this book. I did get a chance to read an advanced copy and I am telling you, this book doubles down on the hype that the book has received. I don't even want to call it hype. It's all due justice for this book. I'm talking about reading this first issue reminded me of a kid when I went to the movie theater and you'd see those movies like Rambo 2, Raw Deal, Commando. I'm talking about it brought me back to that action movie genre. If you liked John Wick, you will love Berserker because John Wick is nice and neat in suits and ties. Here, we got all that action, but we're down in the trenches, down in the mud. I'm talking about the main character in this issue. Just no holds barred. If violence is not your thing, yes, stay away from this. But if you like good old-fashioned action, I can sum up this issue with one panel because I can't show too much because I promised spoiler-free stuff here. But this panel right here sums it up. And to top it all off for you, I'm going to be getting my hands on one of those gorgeous John Boy Myers 1 in 1000 variants. But to make it even better, I'm not keeping it for myself. I'm giving it away. In this video, we're going to announce how you can enter. So stay tuned for that. And we will announce the winner in next week's last call final order cutoff video. So stay tuned. I'll tell you how you can win that in just a moment. But for now, Let's get into this week's picks for Final Order Cutoff. And we're starting with IDW. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, another series that is talked about a lot on this channel. But we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the best of Michelangelo. That's right. This is going to be an issue that sums up some of the best stories from Michelangelo from decades past all the way up to the present. Huge fans of the Ninja Turtles here at Simple Men's Comics. So there's no doubt this is one book that I'm eyeing for Final Order Cutoff. Next we want to talk about is from Marvel Studios. That's right. We get a new Disney princess with Alien number one. Since Disney owns Marvel, that does make Alien a Disney princess at this point. Remember Ripley? Get away from her, you bitch. Get away from her, you bitch. <laughs> Still a princess. But either way. Making its Marvel debut, we get Alien. Alien was previously with Dark Horse, but now we're getting it at Marvel. This is going to be a big debut issue. It's great to see this franchise enter the Marvel Universe. I'd be anxious to see how it plays out. We've also seen some variant covers. Marvel has those variants that come out. Those monthly variant themes, they've had some Alien variants. But here we're getting Alien number one, and it's going to have a bunch of covers for it. Of course, you can have your Peach Momoko, you can have your Inhyak Lee. It also has a Scotty Young Baby variant. We all love those themes. My, one of my favorite covers also, besides the cover A, is I do like the David Finch variant for this. But Alien making its Marvel debut, and it's if you see a cover you like, get your pre-order in for it now. Also from Marvel, we get Amazing Spider-Man number 62. This is one that's been talked about a lot online, a lot of comic blogs, a lot of the websites talking about this is the debut of the new Spider-Man suit. And they even talk about in the solicit saying the debut of the new suit. But if you looked at Final Order Cutoff not too long ago, Amazing Spider-Man 61 kind of teased that suit as well. Here's the thing. Final Order Cutoff for number 62 is this Monday, March 1st. Issue number 61 does not get released until March 10th. That's after FOC for number 62. So that's one of the reasons why I have it in this video. If you're interested in that Spider-Man suit, if it's something that you're really drawn to, you might want to get the pre-order in now for number 62, since issue 61 doesn't release until after Final Order Cutoff. Also for Marvel, we're getting Carnage, Black, White, and Blood number one. A lot of people are taking notice of this issue because it has another one of those Patrick Gleason style cover variants. That's right, what I call the Charlotte's Web variant. There's one like that for this issue. It's going to have a spider web variant of Carnage. So a lot of people have been picking those up because of the hype that's been passed on through the first, second, third prints. And there's been some store exclusives and a lot of people like that cover. I myself 
especially when it comes to Carnage. I like that 1 in 50 Marco Cicchetto variant. Marco Cicchetto has done some fantastic Carnage covers over the years. That's one I'm going to personally try to pick up. And the cover A by itself is still a great cover. And if you're a fan of Carnage, this is one that they're talking about. Kind of how I was talking about Berserker. I don't think it's going to go as violent as Berserker is, which is still a great issue. I'm hoping you guys really pick that up. But they are talking about parental advisory for this, so we should get a great story. Sorry, kids. Getting over DC Comics for a minute. That's right. Remember, DC Comics release a day before. They're still doing the Tuesday release. And a lot of times, Final Cut Cutoff for DC Comics is a couple days before. So make sure you check with who you're ordering from, whether it's your LCS, whether you're doing it online. But we knew she wasn't going to be gone for long. And we get Harley Quinn number one. And whenever you get a Harley Quinn number one, you normally get a lot of covers. I'm not seeing as many as we saw during that, especially that Rebirth Harley Quinn launch. But there's still some covers for this one. We get that cover A by Riley Rosmo. I do like that cover B variant. Derek Chu does some great Harley covers. And this is one of those. There's also some great story exclusives out there. So make sure you check around for that. But Harley Quinn number one. We thought Harley might drift, might fade away a little bit with Punchline. But Harley can't go anywhere. And we knew this was coming. And it's coming. This FOC. And real quick, stop me if you heard this one before. What if I told you we had a comic book series that takes place at an academy where we get some, some possible first appearances of some new feature characters? Would that be something you're interested in? And I'm not talking about Strange Academy, Strange Academy, or even X-Men, I guess you could say at, the, at one point. But no, we're not talking about either of those. DC's stepping into the ring, and they got Teen Titans Academy. And their solicit says this is packed with both new superheroes and dark secrets. To be honest, I love Strange Academy, but I'm super excited for this Teen Titans Academy. I tend to like the Teen Titans. When it comes to the young teen books, my favorite from Marvel would have to be Champions. But I have always loved Teen Titans and Young Justice. And to get a Teen Titans Academy, yes, it seems like it's kind of like, hey, Strange Academy did well. There's something going on here. But I don't care. I'm getting Teen Titans Academy. It's got a great... Cover A from Rafael Sandoval, and it's got a cover B for it by Jamal Campbell. Which is going to bring us into the indie showcase portion of this video. This portion is brought to you by Black Cape Comics at blackcapecomics.com. Again, all the books we talk about in this video, as well as other books that are hitting Final Cut that might not be talked about in this video, they offer a lot of those at blackcapecomics.com as well. And they're huge fans of indie comics. That's why the indie showcase is brought to you by Black Cape Comics. And we only have one this week, and this is one that I'm super hyped about. First issue just came out. Loved it. Talked about the first issue on this very video series with Final War Cutoff. And we are talking about Stray Dogs number two. Issue one did not disappoint. We're going to talk a little bit more about issue one here towards the end of this video. And if you guys watch this video on the regular, you probably know what I'm talking about. But it sold really, really well. And issue number two looks to pick up right where issue one left off. If you're a fan of horror comics, especially from... A dog's perspective, which is what's so great about this. This is a series that you should be picking up. Even if you don't, I recommend that you at least read issue one and see what your thoughts are. If you have read Stray Dogs number one, let me know what you think. Because I kind of feel like it has that. I won't say Disney vibe, because Disney doesn't go that dark. Maybe some Secrets of Nim darkness. If you grew up in the 80s. I was a big 80s fan, so I love those 80s animated movies. And Secrets of Nim was pretty dark. Maybe even pushes the envelope a little bit more. But Stray Dogs number two, Indie Showcase, and deserves a spot all on its own this week. Which also brings me to the later printings. We have some great later printings coming out this week, especially from Image Comics. Image Comics is going heavy on the later printings for this FOC. Crossover, we're getting issues number one and number three with second prints. Department of Truth number one is getting a fourth print. Department of Truth number four is getting a second print. And Department of Truth number five is getting a second print. As well as Ha Ha number two is also getting a second print. And like that I talked about in that indie showcase just a minute ago, Stray Dogs number one sold so well, it immediately got rushed to a second print. So we get Stray Dogs number one, Getting a second print this final order cut off. Then lastly from Marvel. A lot of people have been hunting that Taskmaster number three. Marvel said we got you covered. They have not one but two second prints for Taskmaster number three. With the first appearance right on the smack dab front of the cover this time. Marvel does some later printings well. And that's what we have for those later printings this week. But like I said at the beginning of this video. 
Berserker number one, one in 1,000 variant. I have one to give away. And how do you enter? It's pretty easy. One, the biggest rule is, sorry to say this, but you must have a United States. CONUS, continental U.S. shipping address. For the people that live in Canada, overseas, that watch this channel, I truly apologize. It's just the shipping just is a little bit expensive. But if you do have a United States shipping address, all you have to do to enter is comment on this video. What is your favorite Boom Studios comic book series? It doesn't have to be a current series from Boom Studios. It could be any Boom Studios comic series. They've had some great ones over the years, some great licensed properties, some great creator owned. Just comment down below. Let me know what your favorite Boom series is and why. And I will pick a random winner and announce that winner on next week's Last Call Show. And once again, I highly, highly recommend you pick up at least cover A of Berserker this coming Wednesday and give it a read and let me know what your thoughts are because I'm dying. I mean, I read an advanced copy. I can't share the news with anyone right now, but it is so good and I want to talk to people about it. So when you read it, be sure to comment. Either comment here if you follow me on Instagram at Simple Man's Comics. Send me a DM there. Follow me on Twitter at Simple Man Comics as well. Either way, I want to know what people think of Berserker because I absolutely loved it. But with that being said, guys, this is Brian with Superman's Comics. I'll see you guys in the next video.